So one of the problems that we would face with our Google Classrooms as we transition into a new year would be students needing to get information from a class that they were in before. And the way to solve that is by archiving the class. Now, archiving the class is going to give you the ability to keep the classroom in the state that it is in, but nobody could post any more information, no more updates and no more assignments, or it will be basically a read-only class. And that makes it good for two reasons, because the students will be able to go and get work that they may have submitted for a class that was done before. They might be able to go and get some information from an assignment that they remember. And you, the teacher, could also go back and get work that students may have done, use it as a sample, or check to see some of the answers that they would have given last year to determine how you correct this year, or things like that. And the Archive Classroom gives you that ability. And the best thing of all, it removes the amount of clutter from your Google Classroom page. So you won't see all of the classes that you have currently and the classes from the previous year. You can archive them without deleting them and still preserve the ability to go to the classroom. So let's look into that. Okay, so I have a class here that would have finished their IT probably two years ago or they finished this year or wrote exams this year. And I don't want this class to be cluttering my Google Classroom space, right? A lot of these classes here were classes from last year, so I have to clean it up to get the new classes that I want inside. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the three dots and I'm going to see archive. Now what the archive is going to do is going to make the class basically dormant, but anybody could go back and get the information from it. So when I click archive, it will give me a message and the message says, archive in a class causes it to be archived for all participants, so that means teachers and students. Archive classes can't be modified by teachers or students unless they are restored, meaning that a teacher or a student can't go and post information, they can't upload assignments, they can't do anything. All you could basically do is download because it's like read only. Classes will be moved to your archive classes, but the files will remain in Google Drive. That's the important part because you want to be able to go back and check files for whatever reason you want to check it, whether you're a student or a teacher. So when I click archive, you will see it will disappear. Where did it go to? You click on the top left hand side on the menu and you scroll down, you will see archive classes. When you go to archive classes, you will see all the classes that you would have archived and you click one of them and you will see the information is there, all the stuff that is there. But of course, you cannot post, you cannot update because you realize that there are no settings information. Yeah, what you'll see on the top right hand side is there is no edit cog anymore. So you can't edit the class code or anything like that. So what you will basically have is a classroom that just has stuff that you could go and download. And you can watch and you can see the answers that they did. And you could download it if you want. Now, if you want to take this further and you don't need a classroom at all because you are sure that the students aren't going to go back to it, you could go to your archive classes and then you can click the three dots and then click delete. Once you click delete, that's it. Everything is gone. So the classroom will be gone. The students that inside of it will be gone. There is no added. And the information inside the Google Drive will be gone also. So if you want to conserve space and you have some classes that will be taking up a lot of space, you are going to want to check that and delete the classroom and that will save your space on your Google Drive. So that's how you archive and delete classes.